Hi, I want to take a moment and talk to you a little bit about preparing to launch a new church. But really, the most important dynamic when starting a church is the dynamic of building a launch team. It's most likely one of the hardest aspects of starting a new church. And yet, it really is mission critical. It's interesting, in his book, Planning Fast-Growing Churches, the author Stephen Gray, he identifies 21 differences between churches that are fast-growing churches and churches that are struggling and stuck. One of the things he reports was the importance of really having a healthy launch team from the very beginning. Gray finds that 88% of fast-growing churches had a launch team in place before launch compared with only 12% of struggling churches. On top of that, author C. Peter Wagner writes that a minimum of 50 people is really the necessary number needed for a healthy launch of a new church. Now, from personal experience, I have to say both of these positions are absolutely right on. From personal experience, understanding both the importance and difficulty of building a healthy launch team, I want to give you five things to consider in this phase of planting, with the, really the hope is that it makes the process more fun and easier for you. The first thing is kind of determine and define what being on a launch team means. Now, it's hard to know if someone is really on the launch team if the requirements or qualifications have never been clearly defined. Consider adding a few things like this. Is there a launch team covenant? Is there an interview to be a part of the launch team? Are there expectations when it comes to serving, giving, even attendance? Does someone have to be a Christian to be on the launch team? When are we no longer a launch team? The more that you can think ahead of the curve on these specific things, it will help you and prepare you and your team to know what it's, what's necessary to launch the church. Second thing is just know the culture. If you're moving into a new city and region, you're parachute planting, to use that term, consider just slowing down for a season. Take time to work a regular job for a year or two. This time period allows you to learn more about the community and its people. The bonus of this method is it really provides you adequate time to develop relationships that are natural and relationships that will continue on down the road. The third thing that you really need to pay attention to in the launch team development is praying. Bring the needs that you have to God. Pray that God will bring the right people at the right time to help establish this new church. Remember, it's His church more than it'll ever be your church. He knows exactly the team needed to move it forward. Next thing is just be extremely intentional. This step requires a lot of discipline, if I'm honest. Be intentional about where you go and who you talk to. Shop at the same places. Visit the same cashiers. Consider joining the Chamber of Commerce team. Visit all the local businesses in the direct vicinity of your meeting place. Get to know the managers. Get to know the owners. Uh, tell them that you know I, I, you're doing. Tell them what you're doing and starting a new church. And ask if you can pray for any specific concerns for their business. Now, when you do that, make sure you write down their names and write down their request. The magic happens is when you return a month later, asking how those specific things are going because you've been praying for them. The last step of this is be a coach. Remember that you're in the process of building a launch team. People that have committed to the process and joined the launch team, they're honestly, they're looking for ways to help and they want to be an asset to the church and to you as a leader. Now, as the coach, you have to move people from having a relational connection to belonging, then to contributing, and lastly, to reproducing. Coach people along this journey. Allow the launch team to help build the launch team in itself too. I hope you find these things helpful. And as you prepare on your journey of planning this church, I pray that your time is prosperous. I pray that it's fun and that many people come to know who Jesus is. Mm -hmm.